And what is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Sellers Yourself for another video. Hopefully, you guys are all doing awesome. So for today, guys, we're going to be continuing the card game rankings videos that I started a little while ago, where I ranked all 20 of the Metal Maniac vehicles from my least favorite to my most favorite. I had a lot of fun doing that. So today, we're going to switch over to the Teku vehicles, which is the next little subsection in the card game. And uh, let me tell you what, guys, some of my favorite card arts in the card game are all in this Teku vehicle area. Um, probably three or four of my top 10 are in, you know, the Teku vehicles. So this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. There's definitely going to be some tough decisions here. But today, I'm going to be ranking the Teku vehicle cards from my least favorite to my most favorite. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. All right, guys. So here is a quick shot of the Teku vehicles. Obviously, I am missing four, which, of course, once again, are four of the cooler ones. But uh, let's go through them real quick to give you guys a good idea of what the cards look like. So there's Synchro, Battle Spec. High Voltage, Nightlife. That's supposed to be Chicane right there. Then we have Spectite, Power Rage, Baseline, Reverb, Drift Tech. This is supposed to be Hyper Synchro. Then we have Hyper Battle Spec. Then we're missing Hyper High Voltage. Then we have Hyper Nightlife. And then of course we're missing Hyper Chicane as well. Then we have Hyper Spectite, Hyper Power Rage, Hyper Baseline, Hyper Reverb, and Hyper Drift Tech. So outside of those four that we're missing, we do have, you know, 16 out of the 20 in stock. And I've got to say, guys, the Teku cards in general, obviously the Realms and Excel Chargers are probably the coolest set of cards, but uh, the Teku vehicles, guys, have some absolutely wicked cars and some wicked card art. So let's go ahead and jump into the rankings. So guys, starting off with number 20, my least favorite Teku vehicle card would have to be Battle Spec. I'm not a fan of this card art at all. Just Battle Spec's a decent model, but uh, this angle is just absolutely horrific on it. It makes it look short and stocky. It just looks like a Minecraft car, in my opinion, in this uh, shot. So I have Battle Spec at number 20. And next up, moving into number 19, we have Power Rage. So I'm a huge fan of the Power Rage model, but unfortunately, this uh, card art kind of looks like it was either stretched too much or shrunk too much. It's just something about the... Uh, Something about the photo in the car just looks like it's stretched, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like an actual car. Like, the, something about the dimensions are off on it. It's hard to explain. But uh, at number 19, I have Power Rage. Moving into number 18, we have Hyper Battle Spec. Once again, the dimensions are just a little bit off. For some reason, I seem to remember Kurt sitting further back in Battle Spec than it does in these photos. But uh, just once again, not a whole lot going on in the scenery. The car model looks a little odd. So I have Battle Spec, Hyper Battle Spec at number 18. And moving into number 17, we have Synchro. This was a tough one for me. I'm a huge fan of Synchro. I love that paint job, the dragon on the side. Does it get colder than that? I don't know. But uh, unfortunately, once again, the angle is just rough. These uh, angles from the back side are just terrible for these uh, card arts. Once again, it makes Synchro look kind of blocky. Just looks like your average Honda Civic with a spoiler, but uh, no offense to Honda Civic drivers out there. But uh, I have Synchro at number 17. So moving into number 16, we have Hyper Baseline. Once again, a bunch of cool car models, you know, Power Age, Synchro, Baseline, but unfortunately the car arts just don't really do it for me for whatever reason. But uh, now Hyper Baseline, the reason it's at number 16 is just because all the car arts above it were pretty darn cool. So it's really not that much of a knock on Hyper Baseline. It's just, uh, there's just some pretty wicked card arts in the Teku line. So at number 16, we have Hyper Baseline. And then at number 15, we have Reverb. So this might be a bit of a shock. You know, Reverb's obviously a fan favorite car model, but the card art guys, what were they doing? The color's terrible on it. You really can't see uh, the beauty of that paint job and that dark blue or light blue or whatever they would have done for it on the trading card. And uh, the background's kind of rough and the angles on the car just make it look like a block. You know, it looks like a, a typical Lamborghini or something. I'd say a typical Lamborghini. <laughs> but at number 15, I have Reverb. And sort of the same problem here at number 14 with high voltage. The real dark card arts, you know, the front half of the card is just really dark. You can't really see the whole uh, color scheme on the car. Obviously, you can kind of tell that it's black and orange, but they could have done so much more with it, guys. It could have given us so much better lighting like they did for a lot of the Metal Maniac vehicles. So at number 14, I have high voltage. And at number 13, we have Drift Tech. Now, this was a tough one for me because even though I really don't like the Drift Tech model, they absolutely nailed this card art. If they could have given a synchro power rage from this angle, it would have been absolutely wicked. Just look at the detail on those CM6s. Got the underglow, the headlights are popping. What an absolutely awesome shot of Drift Tech, even though it does have the blue wing. You know, you see a lot of orange wings on eBay. But uh, anyways, I have Drift Tech at number 13. And then moving into number 12, we have Nightlife. Once again, an awesome car model. I absolutely love the color scheme on Nightlife. That orange and white is absolutely wicked, but kind of a dark card art again. So at number 12, we have Nightlife. And then at number 11, next up we have Hyper Spectite. You guys know I'm a huge Spectite fan, but uh, 
This trading car just looks a little hectic. I don't really know what's going on in this photo. I guess it's driving through rain or something, but uh, looks a little bit scrambled. I do love seeing the CM6s in motion, but at number 11, I have Hyper Spectite. And then at number 10, we have Hyper Drift Tech. So once again, not a huge fan of the Drift Tech model, but both of the Drift Tech card arts, they absolutely crushed. These are awesome looking card arts. I love the uh, the overhead angle of Drift Tech in motion with the underglow popping. I wish they would have done something similar for uh, some of the other cars. But anyways, at number 10, we have Hyper Drift Tech. And now moving into the top 10 at number nine, we have Hyper Power Rage. So this is a much better shot of Power Rage than that one up there. Love the underglow on the car. Love that it's absolutely zooming in the card art. They absolutely nailed this angle on Hyper Power Rage for sure. So at number 10, or at number nine, excuse me, we have Hyper Power Rage. And coming in at number eight, we have Chicane. So I'm a huge fan of the Chicane model. I love the Chicane die cast. Absolutely gorgeous with that sort of electric uh, blue paint. I forget what the exact name of the paint is, but the card art just does not do it justice, guys. It's got a real, real dark navy blue color on it. Um, even in the movies, it wasn't that dark. But uh, the angle of the car and the shot, the color of the car just kind of throws me off. So at number eight, I have Chicane. So moving on to number seven, we have Hyper Nightlife. Once again, absolutely love the color scheme on Nightlife. It really does carry it in my opinion, but this card art is absolutely wicked. It looks like it's doing some sort of epic stunt in the card art. So at number seven, we have Hyper Nightlife. And at number six, we have Hyper High Voltage. And I'm not gonna lie, this is a great shot of high voltage. I love how it's zooming, um, love that background. I love the colors on it. They absolutely nailed the angle. Hyper High Voltage is all around awesome. The only thing I could have made it better is if they would have made it a foil card, this card would have looked fantastic with the Hyper Chicane background. But at number six, we have Hyper High Voltage. So there we have our number six Hyper High Voltage placeholder. And then at number five, we have Spectite. You guys know, once again, huge Spectite fan. And I really do love this shot on Spectite. While Hyper Spectite is okay, um, I really do love this overhead shot of Spectite just sitting still in the garage. Absolutely wicked. Love the underglow on it. And I can just hear that engine revving. Moving into the top four, at number four, I have Baseline. Now, this might not be everybody's favorite card art, but something about the uh, the movie accurate paint job on the back of Baseline. I know it's not accurate on the, uh, the hood, but uh, something about that black sound system in the back absolutely makes this car pop. I don't know what it's even sitting in, some sort of garage. It looks like it's surrounded by speakers in the card art, but uh, this card art is just absolutely gorgeous to me. So at number four, I have Baseline. And at number three, we have Hyper Chicane. So Hyper Chicane and Hyper Synchro were so tough to choose between because uh, the colors in the background of Hyper Chicane are absolutely gorgeous, especially with that hollow effect. But uh, unfortunately, it just came up a little bit short. Two, of course, Hyper Synchro at number two. This card is absolutely gorgeous. I love the detailed shot of Synchro. I love that the wheels move as the car moves along. Unfortunately, I don't have a copy of it on hand to show you guys the hollow effect, but Hyper Synchro is absolutely gorgeous. But unfortunately, Hyper Chicane and Hyper Synchro, neither one were any match for my number one pick. So our placeholders for Hyper Chicane and Hyper Synchro, and you guys know, of course, which card is going in at number one. We have hyper reverb does it get any cooler than hyper reverb guys i really don't know it honestly might be my favorite card in the entire card game um, i haven't really decided yet we'll have to see down the road when i do a foil rankings video and so on and so forth with uh, my overall probably top 10 or 20 card arts but uh, it is definitely really really high up there i mean just look at that just absolutely wicked so at number one hyper reverb far and away the winner i'm sure that will be popular with you guys too but that is the results of my Teku vehicle rankings. Be sure to go let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you would move any of these around, let me know. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my rankings of the Teku vehicle cards. If you disagree with anything, anything you would move around, let me know down in the comment section. I'm happy to discuss your wrong opinion with you because my rankings are, of course, the law. I'm just playing with you guys. But anyway, seriously, let me know down in the comments what you guys' favorite card from the Teku vehicle line is. I'm always happy to discuss with you guys. I love seeing you guys' opinions. But uh, if your choice isn't hyper reverb, something's wrong. But uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the Accelerators yourself for more Accelerators related content. And uh, I should have probably another rankings video. Next one will be the silencers and then the racing drones vehicle cards. That'll be coming over the next couple weeks. So keep your eyes peeled for those. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.